Well, if you were an emperor, you'd treat your fucking concubine so bad, I think. We're recording, right? Yes. Yeah. What? If I, what? If you were an emperor back in the day. Yeah. You would have treated your fucking No, I'm a concub- man of the people. No, I know. The concubines aren't your people. They they work for you. I know. You would you, you'd be that dude like you'd be like, "Hey bitch, get me my fucking sandals," no, no, right? And no. then you go out in front of the people and be this fucking guy with your white robe and When I see the the TV shows and movies where the kings are treating concubines like shit, yeah. I and I see the other guy on the side like, "No, no, that's not right." I relate to that guy. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I swear no to way. you. Because I, I've been watching you talk to him. My, uh, you're talking about my producer, Alex. Yeah, you're Alex? Yeah. He's your producer and you treat him like that. Imagine if he was like your fucking... Cl- uh, treat him like what? Hey, get, tough get, love. No, because earlier you were like, get that fucking thing. Where's that thing? You should know where that fucking thing is. <laughs> well, okay. Okay, first of all, there was a few issues that I had. Like, he was looking for a cord. I came in... Okay. Two minutes here, and Calm I found down. the cord. Everything's fine. I know. And he said he's been looking for it for the last 48 hours or tw- 24 hours. But that's your fault for hiring Pyongyangs. <laughs> if you don't, if you don't so hire Pyongyang. Are you on his side or mine now? You're just I, shitting on him too right now. No, I'm not shitting on him. He's a Pyongyang. <laughs> what is that? Is that how you say it? Pyongyang, yeah. Pyongyang. Pyongyang is like uh, retard pretty much. I never called him that. Okay. That I'm was on saying, you. That, I'm just saying. That was on you. That's the translation. That isn't. Dumb person. Well, dumb person. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Sorry, I, don't, I didn't mean to say. Would that. would you say he's smart? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's smart in his own way. Yeah, he's an idiot in different ways. But that's all of us. You know, what I mean, we have our strengths and we have our weaknesses. Anyways, uh, guest today is you don't have okay. I don't. Need... Yeah, you can. But why don't? Why are you trying to teach me how to do my pod? Because you you steal everything else. <laughs> I haven't stolen anything. The colors of the thing, all that. You get what I'm saying. Anyway, go bring bring me up. Okay, so uh, next guest, right? The new guest. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked me up. All right, Bobby Lee is our guest this week, y'all. Yeah. Um, I haven't spent this much time. If we spent too much time together, we have spent a lot of time in the past few weeks because we're working on a film together. And by the way, on the way here, I was tuned in. Film tonight. is a stretch. <laughs> it's a film. It's a movie. It's a movie. It's not like a Criterion Collection fucking film. Is that does that is that what it is when you call it a film? Does it sound more prestige or? Yeah, I think Wes Anderson makes films. Okay. I think Michael Bay makes movies. This is like an Amazon Prime three ninety nine movie. You're saying? I don't know. Who knows? It could be a sleeper hit. I have no idea. By the way, I just tuned into Tiger Belly on the way here, and you completely shitted on me about my baseball skills. I didn't shit on you. I was just telling truth facts. No, it's you not- know, let me say something to you. Yeah. I have never been more disappointed in a Korean than watching you play softball. That's I let, just let me finish. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. You literally suck. And 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 you look like like a Tasmanian devil. <laughs> not even Tasmanian. Like what's an animal with no like paws? Like you don't grip it right. You're blind. You, the swing is looks terrible. Like you're doing. A- I don't mind if you shit on my athleticism, but the one part it sounded it sounds terrible because if you take it out of context, you start off like first of all, dumbfounded. Jonathan Park is a disgrace to Asians. He is disgrace. Based on your co- softball play, you are. <laughs> you do it if you would have do talk about Pyeongchang, fucking softball Pyeongchang, <laughs> dude. It was embarrassing. Like, it, it, can I? I'm, I'm going to tell, tell you guys about a take. Go ahead. So our director, the director was like, all right, so this is your coverage. You know, you got to hit one to yeah, you. Yeah. You probably had eight swings. Let me finish. Go ahead. And I've never heard a director go, all right, well, next guy. Like you couldn't hit it. I was starting to get a little bit mad about that too. I'm not going to lie. What's wrong? Because I just wanted one more try and he was but like, you gave no, you, no, no, we no, gave no, you no, eight. No. <laughs> no, that wasn't eight. It yeah, was we like gave you eight. Three or four. No, we gave you eight. It was like three or four. I'm counting. <laughs> First of all, I go one. Oh, Pyeongchang. <laughs> two. Oh, Pyeongchang. Three. You on the field look like you've never played catch ever, and I hadn't either. Like I didn't play grow up playing catch or with my dad. That's like a white, you know, family pastime. Like oh, playing catch with my dad. I've never did that. You've never played catch with your dad. If anything, he, he's hit well, you with a baseball bat, but he's never played catch. Glove. What? He used to beat me with a glove. A baseball glove? (laughs) Why a glove? I don't know. The padding? I don't know. Yeah. He kind of loved you a little bit. Are you going to say that I didn't look good catching the ball? There was No, you looked a little awkward. Okay. You did too. I looked awkward catching the ball? Yeah. No, I think I looked fine catching the ball. And would you say that I'm better at hitting the ball? 
you hit more balls than I did. Thank you. But I just needed you to say that. But softball is underhand pitches. I went to the batting cage a week before we started filming, and I was hitting balls that were coming at me 60 miles per hour directly. So the timing, I'm not good at the timing when it floats into... What? A softball is going... One mile per hour. Yeah, but it's like the timing of it. And it's just so slow. And you're eyeing the ball. And you you can't, you can't couldn't even hit it. And the ball is bigger. What the fuck are you talking okay, about? Okay, whatever, dude. I'm not good at softball, so what? All right, that's that doesn't mean that, make you more athletic than me in any other sport. Oh, you, so you're saying that you can beat me in ping pong? Ping pong? You, you want, is that next? That's we'll, next. We'll do ping pong next. Yeah, yeah. We'll do ping pong. Okay. Yeah. I will humiliate you. How, do you skateboard? I do. You skate? A little bit. Really? Yeah. Well, you, there's no contest with skating. Really? Also, can I just say this there too? A contest You're like 20 skating. years younger than I am. <laughs> I'm an old man. Okay. Well. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> do you feel better? I mean, okay. Now I feel shitty. No, after you pointed that age thing out. But okay. Yeah. I, I thought I would be a lot better in baseball and I'm not. It's fine. Yeah. Um, but can I, I want to say. Mm-hmm. That I'm proud of you because um, you're a pretty good actor. That makes me feel really good. Yeah, and um, you held your own with the group. I've been watching you. Yeah. Um, everyone on the movie is like, that's the right choice. Oh, thank you. It's so you. hard to say these things to you. <laughs> it really is. There's maybe uh, some people on the movie that... I don't want to say it, but you know what I'm saying. I, I got to ask you, do you feel like on set, like kind of the veteran of all the actors? Because a lot of people are, you know, doing stuff for the first time. I think Johnny has been doing it as long as I he, have. John, yeah, Johnny has been doing yeah. it a long time. But in general, do you look at some of the younger guys? I know, I know Theo, it's like Theo's first film. You're on the side. Do you look like, oh, he's doing well? You know, he's. Yeah, I mean, it. well, it's not just a well. It's like if you, if you see like yesterday when we shot with Jay Moore. Oh. Amazing. I know, but you know, there are times where he's slipping or he forgets things. Yeah, but it's like you know when you, you can tell when, like, oh, they they got it in the can and it's going to cut together great, right? And he understands that as well, right? Um, but like some most of you guys, like that guy Kit Adam Faison, I was just oh, I was just like, no, so they're so. it's all going to cut together well and it looks great, you know? Yeah, I just don't know how the if it's gonna. If the story makes sense, you know, it's low budget. So, you know, you worry about that. Yeah, but you usually have like less expectations, not not big expectations. So you don't get disappointed, right? It's like a thing you do. I've you're noticed supposed that. to be the king of Koreatown and you're supposed to get your your opa, you know what I mean? Some girls and you haven't been able to do it. Uh, why am I in charge of that? First of all, it is you. harder for me to get girls for an older man. I'm not calling you old, but you did call yourself an older man earlier. You're like, I'm an old man. I can't swing the bat or whatever. Um, but I'm saying, you don't think it's, it's you think it's, sad. it's, do you think it's easy for me to try to like get girls? Like, I, I mean, I'm not saying you're not, you're, you're not Bobby Lee or like you're a good looking. I'm just saying it's like, yeah, 25 year old girl meet Bobby Lee. I'm not shitting on you. I'm not, why are you looking at me like that? I can't believe it. Why are you looking at it's me like that? Unbelievable. What's what unbelievable? Saying. The disrespect. It's not the oh disrespect. My God. It's not a disrespectful yeah. thing. I'm just saying it is a harder it's way not. to match. It's not. It's harder. It's not harder. Why is it not harder? Because I play 30. Yeah. You look, yeah. I play 30. Yeah, 35. Yeah, yeah. I play 35. Right. 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 So that's number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, it's like. I'm not saying I'm famous, but. People know me. Yeah. Yeah. But like, I'm not working at like, you know, Daikuka Ramen, you know what I mean? I, Making noodles. <laughs> which even, that's a good jo job if you have it. Yeah, I love yeah, that yeah, fucking yeah. place. I but my point is, is that, you know, it's not, I don't, wouldn't say it was that hard. Are you a good wingman? Because I've never been a good wingman. That's what, that's why I wanted to talk to you. You're not. I'm not. No. I know. But are you a good Because wingman? you'll start dancing on the dance floor. <laughs> what, no. Well, you just have a way, the way you talk, it's different than when you talk now. Uh, in I'm, a club environment, you know, what I mean? you're kind of like the when way I have you, a few drinks in me. You're yeah, saying. you're just kind of flowing, and you're just like, you know, what I mean, you put your arms around people, yeah, yeah. and you're like the you want to be the focal, right? But you have to lay up too. Oh, you you think I'm a ball hog? One hundred percent. You think I'm a ball hog? One hundred percent. There was a couple of girls you met. You wouldn't even introduce me. I 
I'll tell you I, right I, now. I, <laughs> Let me it, tell you right it, now. It, yeah. This when guy. I have a friend that I'm like, I look up to or I think is cool, which is someone like you, right? Yeah. Like you're Bobby Lee. So if I, if I take it to a Korean club, I, I'm constantly like, yo, you no, know, but Bobby, you say, you, you but, know, but, how many times have I, did that? But you know, but this, is, this is the way you do it though, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, you guys know he's been around for a thousand years. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I'm fucking, I come out of a fucking genie bottle I or something. I say legend. Yeah, yeah. That he's been around. He's old. been around since the okay. 80s. You don't like legend. You do like legend. I don't like legend. What does that even fucking mean? You don't like legend? No, I don't like legend. Who doesn't like legend? What is a, a legend is somebody that's gone. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's it's what in it folklore. Like it's prophecy. Alex, does that sound... What, what does legend sound like to you? Just What does it sound like to you? Just... Uh, <clears throat> mythological. <laughs> yes, it, thank you. Mythological. That was the word I was trying to find. Mythological. You don't think girls want to sleep with a legend? No. It's like... It's like Meet Genghis Khan. He's a legend. You think like Thanos? Th yeah. Thanos is a legend. He might be around, but no girls want to bang Thanos. He's you don't scary. Wanna, you don't want to touch him. You don't no. want to touch a legend. Yeah. That's a yeah, it's like it's like it's almost as like he's a statue or Right. You know what I mean? Do not touch Mona Lisa. Like, yeah, yeah. Or he's like some old book, just don't touch it, it'll fucking break apart in your hands. But you're also like I was introducing you to people and you've definitely felt a little bit kind of like picky about things like you just wasn't into it or you doubted yourself you're like she's not gonna she's not into me you know i think you're kind of getting your feet warm you know you're getting your feet wet again you're brand new into this what territory again and it, that's it's it's fine. it's like a gig it's, fine. it's like a gig sometimes I'll, I'll get a call and go hey man i got this coffee shop in ventura mm -hmm. right it pays 80 dollars. do four shows you know right. what i mean some people will even call me and do that Right. And it's like, that's not the level that I'm at. <laughs> okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, would you go to, if I called you and said, hey, I'm a kid from Boise, Idaho. Right. Can you do a hip hop show for $45? Mm. Would you go out there? I'm not going to fly you out. Right. Would you go and do it? N uh, no. I, exactly. So that's what you're doing to me yeah. at the clubs. But don't you think it's kind of a roller coaster? There's like you're hot and you're not. You know, it's like it's an up and down roller coaster. I felt that way too. You know, there was a time where I was killing it out there and slaying. You know, oh, you're saying I'm old? No, I'm not saying back you're in old. the day. I'm not saying 80s. you're old. But no, this is this is pertaining to your relationship status. You've been out of the game. You know what I mean? I'm not really even necessarily looking for anything. It's like this. You know, the I'm just ch testing out the waters. I, I just want to feel. Like, I'm still, like, you know, viable. No, you've had a residency in Vegas. Okay, here we go. For 10 years. I like it. You've had a residency. In, what, what hotel? It's like the- What hotel? Uh, at the Mirage. Okay. You had a residency in at the Mirage for 10 years. Because if you were going to say Circus Circus, I would have left. <laughs> no, no, no. Mirage, okay. at least. Okay. Let's give you the- Not even the Excalibur, but the Mirage. It's even better than all yeah. that. It's not the win. The wind or Caesars. Okay, yeah, you've had a residency. You're hot. Every show's okay. packed constantly. Right. They release you. What do you well, do? You but gotta they, hit the road again. No, they released us because the, the numbers were dwindling. Oh, they're dwindling. Okay. Yeah, the numbers so are dwindling. Us, if, if, and does, with, with that analogy, the numbers are dwindling, and they let me go. Does that does that pertain to your relationship status with your ex, where the relationship is not thriving? Is that what your? It was not thriving. So it's not thriving. So that's the ticket sales dwindling. Mm -hmm. Ticket sales are dwindling. But I would have to say that my performance, you know what I mean, wasn't 100% committed. Mm. I understand why it was dwindling. Yeah, you had you had a drug problem while... No, it was just residency. like you know, the last couple of shows Elvis did. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sad. Fat. Sad. You know what I mean? Sweating. Yeah. Forgetting the lines. Yeah. You know what I mean? For sure. Showing up late. Stuff yep. like that. I get that. Yeah, I yeah. get that. So you part ways. You know, everything's cool. Mm-hmm. Um, but now you got to look at your relation. Uh, you got to look at your career. You know, yeah, I have to get back. You have to get back. I have to get back. It. You got to get back on the horse. Yeah. And you got to humble yourself. Oh you, you're fat Elvis. You know what I mean? You're fat Elvis out in these streets, out in the performance. There's a, other hot Beatles are out. You know, all these other bands are out. I don't know if that's timeline is correct, but there's so all. So you're saying that I have to reinvent myself. You do have to reinvent yourself. I already did. No, 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 no. This we're all talking about you, Bobby Lee, the single guy. Oh, I see. Single guy. Oh, oh I thought <laughs> my, my career. Okay. We're making an analogy. Uh, to all right. Yeah, I'm sorry. I got lost. Okay, I got yeah, lost. Yeah, I got yeah, offended yeah. for no reason. Okay. But, uh, yeah. So I'm saying you got to reinvent yourself as a single man mm. out, out there. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to carry yourself the way you reinvented yourself in your career as a single man. Uh huh. You know, I'm going to work out. That's what you're saying. Well, I, I don't look I, good. I don't know, but I'm gonna work Buff out. Bobby might be a little weird, though, to be honest. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's I'm, a little I mean, weird. Have, but I've never tried Buff Bobby. Buff Bobby. Bobby? Yeah. That'd be interesting. Yeah. Buff Bobby. I don't know how the people are going to feel about that. If I was ripped? They might hate you more. But I'm going to get the surgery. You're, you know I want to get implants. Where? Facial implants. Because <laughs> the face has to match the buff body. So I'm going to get a buff body, yeah. shave my head. Yeah. Facial implants. Yeah. So it kind of looks like look like a Korean insurrectionist. <laughs> you know, like he could be a Trump guy. I don't know. Uh, this is scary. I don't like this. Get a Confederate flag tattoo on my chest. Yeah. Dude, I've never seen a Korean dude with a Confederate flag tattoo on their chest. <laughs> Have you? A Confederate flag tattoo. I, I know I know conservative like super conservative Koreans yeah, but they would, that they like would Trump. Wear... You do? I, I definitely know Trump supporting Where? Koreans. They're out there. I've in Koreatown? Oh, there definitely is. And you've talked to them about it. Because they're all into, like, guns and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you look them up and, you know, they're going to support, obviously, those uh, values and, and, you know, all that. So Yeah, but there's other issues outside of guns. But anyway, my point is is that yeah. do you hang out with those guys? No, I don't hang out with them. I just see them. Like, dudes that I knew from, like, 10 Back years ago, day. all of a sudden they're Trump supporters, you know? Yeah. But that, those are people I just feel like, feel like that they've been slighted in some way. By yeah, society, probably. you know, something. Happened. Oh my god, those are Korean Trump supporters. Wait, is this in Korea or what? This looks Photoshop. This is real. This is, this is real in Korea. That's in Korea. That's in Korea. Yeah, it's translated yeah. underneath. We love Trump. This is this on the screen, Alex. You got to show it on the screen. Dude, they look like look not just with the hats. Look, these look like the security guards at the Korean markets. You know what I mean? That that are in the front of the parking lot watching that. This is intense. That's fucking intense, dude. Yeah. Yeah. That's so sad. Wait, uh, I want to go back to Let's not talk about Buff Bobby real quick. Okay, go ahead. I just want to go about that because people tend to not like pretty pretty comedians or like good-looking comedians, right? Or is that a thing? Uh, it's a thing. It's a thing, right? Yeah. I know even for this, like for, for rappers, right? If like a K-pop dude came to America and try to like rap like hardcore, people wouldn't take it seriously, I think. Would you say Chappelle was buff? Chappelle's buff. Would you say Bill Burr has a good body? Yeah, they're, they're fit. Sebastian Mazzascalco has a good body. They're fit, but they're not looked at like pretty boys. They, no, because physically, they can't change their face. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I, I can't change the way my face looks. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, but I can change other aspects that like, the girl might not ever look at my face. I don't give a fuck. Right. You know what I mean? If they want to laugh, they look at my face. If they want to get smashed, they look at my body. Why can't I give them two options? <laughs> You know what I mean? It's kind of a package, though. No? It's not. It's, it's like one of, of those, like, you know, sweet and candies where it's like, on the outside, it's sweet, but if you get in the center, it's sour. Ah, uh, okay. Like a double thing. You know what I mean? I almost, that's why I feel like me having kind of a regular face and a regular body. Not not like. You don't have a regular face. I'm just saying it's like a little bit above. It's not like crazy, crazy, but it's enough. You look frail. It's a good, I look frail? But it's weird, actually, because oh, I, I, I can't wait to talk about this next thing. <laughs> my journey has been the last two years I've been working out. That's my thing. I cannot wait to get into this next thing. Okay, well, what's right? the next thing? Let's just get into it. What is it? <laughs> okay, what is it? Dumbfounded this? wants to be an action star. Oh. <laughs> 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 I didn't see this coming. Yeah, but... yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but uh, I yeah. did want to talk about this. Uh, I want to talk about this too. I did too. You're acting foolish oh my and God. ridiculous. No, All right, I go ahead. Not. Okay. So. I brought uh, Bobby asked me on Look set. At it, you're mumbling. No, no. Bobby asked me on set. <laughs> what are some of my goals as an actor? And I, I said, I want to be an action star. And I'm not saying that's my only thing, but I'm like, I want to do action movies. That's one of the movies type of movies I want to do. And you completely laughed and you're like, never going to happen. That was your first thing. Never going to happen. And you just kept saying that. How long did I laugh? Never going to happen. How long did I laugh? For a long time, exactly. That I, only I, you started, three minutes. Started gathering. I a gathered people crowd. around. You're yeah, like, I go, gather Check around. This guy out. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, and then started making a mockery of it, and and I just kept like arguing with you. I was like bringing up points. And yeah, you're, like never gonna happen. Never gonna happen. And then it just turned into. A and then all, for a week, I was calling him stuff like, "Hey, John McClane, <laughs> <laughs> come <laughs> over." Okay, or everybody. Yeah, everybody. It's Neo. You know what I mean? Like I just kept like you rubbing did. it. You in. did. You did. You yeah, did. yeah, yeah. But okay, so let's let's break it down for the the listeners here. It is a possibility. There are action stars who aren't the most buff, the most handsome. Okay, name me them. 
Okay. Um, uh, Vin Diesel. You're Vin Diesel. No, no, I'm not Vin Diesel. But I'm just I saying. Mean, I mean, <laughs> you want me to laugh? Okay, no, no, no. I'm okay, not that's saying. That's fucking <laughs> hilarious, okay. dude. Vin oh, Diesel I, yeah. is, is handsome. He's buff. Yeah. He's short, too, though. Yeah. Vin Diesel, though, yeah. was in a Steven Spielberg movie. It's like these guys, just hear me yeah, out, okay? Yeah. These guys have such a deep past in terms of booking huge things. Right. So they developed a, a name for themselves. You're just getting into the I Hollywood know, scene. And I, that's why it's going to take you a very long time. So you would have to, I'm not, listen, if you were, it's, if you were in your early 20s, yeah. you were an actor. You were Adam Faison. There's a kid in our movie called Adam yeah, Faison. Amazing. If Adam Faison walked up to me and said, you know what? I'm going to be an action star. I would not have done that. I wouldn't have laughed. Yeah. Anything can happen because this dude is an incredible actor. Right, he He's already doing A-list shit, right. right? And in the in his thirties, when he mans up and grows a beard and gets, he grows up. Maybe, but but right? that, that could you're happen in your to thirties. Oh, you're so you're it's an age thing. It's an age. It's thing. A, you're. It's too late. Okay, Pat Morita. He wasn't an action star. star. Pat Mar is he? Was he an action star? I don't know. Would you consider that an action star? Yeah, but you're saying the lead, right? That's our, our bet. We made a ten thousand dollar bet, right? Yeah, for as 10 the years. lead, ten years. In ten years, you have to be the lead in an action movie. Yeah. Right, and it's something that you can't produce or write. Yeah. You know what I mean I could be an action star if I did that? You know what I mean? I'm the next Wolverine. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or whatever, I could do that, right? But like I'm saying, an outside company like Universal right. or Fox has to go. Huh? We have to do this, you know, new movie. Right. Right. The next Neo. They're not going to hire you. Okay. Let me paint the scenario. Of, you could be in the movie. Let me. You have a talent enough to be in the movie okay. as like the science guy. Let me tell you the type of movie I'm talking about as an older person. Maybe my age or maybe, maybe 10 years from now if I'm 46, right? Mm. A, a guy comes in. Uh, um, he's an older dude too. 40s, 50s years old. He's like, I'm putting the old gang back together. You know? Ghost finds me. Working as a florist, cutting flowers or whatever. He's like, there's this uh, gang really causing some trouble in the neighborhood. And I'm trying to put the old gang back together to get rid of them. And I'm like, I don't do that type of work anymore. Okay, hold on a second, okay? You know? Yeah. And he recruits me. Uh huh. I throw my apron down on the ground. Let's do it. Yeah. And I'm an action star. I'm out here kicking ass. I'm killing villains. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you think they're going to make a Korean Expendables? Expendables, yes. They're not. <laughs> no. So you think there's going to be like... Uh, not Korean. I'm, I'm the Korean. Yes. Maybe I'm the Korean in the Expendables type of situation. Yeah. You know what I mean? All right. So they're, we're going to... But just, can I just make the argument this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Expendables, right, were old guys... That were action stars. Okay, but what if they're like they, they never went to a, a a guy that was like he wasn't an action star, but let's go get him. But what if they're like okay, he used to be like the Asian rapper, like he was the Asian rapper when he was younger. Let's you know, let's get him into this in this cause movie. We're, we're, yeah, because we're gonna fucking break into the CIA, so we need a fucking Korean. It's rapper. like Snoop, right? Snoop. Say they make like a black ex Expendables. Yeah, I, I, and, I, and, 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 and here's my argument Snoop. again. Snoop. It's like I know that you rap, and yeah. I, and and I'm pretty sure you're as talented as Snoop, right? That dude is a fucking legend. Yeah, he is a legend. And he's a draw. 100%. It's completely different. Okay, okay, you're I'm right. I'm just saying that you did it too <laughs> early, late. Okay, okay. Right? If you started acting in your late eight, in your teens, which you could have done, yeah. you're a talented kid. I, I, I'm, I want to support your fucking dream, dude. It's, Who, aren't there action stars that it's started like that late? I really want to be the greatest male Asian porn star. It's never going to happen. Wasn't Jason Statham old when he got into action films? At least my age, thirty six, like is when he started, or when he started transporting shit. Yeah. I mean, so Jason Statham, stay, yeah, stay them, stay yeah. them. Wasn't he in um, um, that movie with Brad Pitt and D Benicio del Toro, the English movie? Um, it's called Snatch. No. Yeah, Snatch. Snatch. Yeah. 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 He was. Do that's what I'm saying. You got to get in a Snatch. I first. will. Ten years. I will. That's. I, not, I, I have this. a trajectory. If you get, all right. If you get into like a Tarantino movie. Okay. Right. Or a Spielberg movie, and then at that point, I'm going to start shaking my boots. Okay. But until that happens, I can't shake my boots. If, if anybody works for Tarantino or Spielberg and they feel like they want to prove this man wrong, yeah, but, uh, cast me in the movie. I know. And but we will I, do this But can I say years. this? Let, audition me as well. <laughs>
<laughs> audition me as well because you know what I mean. I think I have a shot then as okay. well. Okay, all right, all right. You didn't even want to be in action movies. You know, it two doesn't matter because ago. we're not asking about. We're talking. Well, you're talking about getting into a really good movie as okay. a star, right? So any of you guys, Tarantino, Spielberg, any Scorsese, if you need a fucking cast. Get us all in, Ronnie Chang, everybody, and then see if fucking dumb can <laughs> beat us out of the fucking Why are you making it even part. harder for me now? Okay, you know what I want to do even more than become an oh, action star is only? prove you wrong. I want to prove you what wrong. What are you so angry about? I'm on your side. Are you, are you? Yes. What do you mean? You just threw yourself in the pool to make it harder for me to get this role. Just, you just lost $10,000. <laughs> no, I did not. Or did you, you think that I'm going to be writing you a check I one day? I think you'll be writing me a check. I love it. I maybe, really and maybe do. you're right. Maybe you can manifest it, and maybe I'm wrong, and then I'll sit back down with you here, I, and I will eat my own shit. I had a general meeting with Netflix, and they asked me this. They were like, for, it was with casting, and they were like, you know, picture yourself on a billboard driving down Sunset. What kind of film would you like to do? Mm. And I said, action. Okay. And they didn't laugh at me. Okay. They can did I ask not you a question? laugh at me. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. What was that meeting? When? Yeah. This was about a month and a half ago. A month. Have they called you? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Yeah. But this is for the future. Look, the future look, can I say something? Yeah. And I don't want to hurt your feelings. Yeah. But I've had general meetings like that. Yeah, of course. I'm not saying with, it. No, no. Special. Just hear me out. Yeah. With every company, streaming and whatnot, mm -hmm. and have never gotten a job from it. Right. It's just a way for them to meet the quota. Or yeah, whatever. Meet, we yeah. met We met three Koreans this month. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where's the list? Yeah. Dumb, dumb, whatever. Okay, good. I mean, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? no, I get that. I've never gone into a, a, a general meeting at a network and they went, wow. Right. Here's the next fucking Keanu Reeves. Right. You know, auditions are the thing. Like, yeah, yeah. they'll you get auditions. Yeah. You still have to beat everyone else out. Right, it's a hard thing. Listen, what I'm saying to you is this: Do I know dumbfounded? Oh, I feel like I'm breaking your heart. No, you're oh, not. Man, it makes me you're, so sad. You're not breaking my heart. Shut the fuck up. You're not breaking my heart. But here's here's an idea, maybe. Yeah, and I I could be wrong in this okay. way. Okay, present this. So Amber did. Um, my friend Amber did uh, that movie Prey. Yeah, right. Great movie. She's not an action star. She never was. Right. Right. She was an actress. She's native. Right. So if they did like a Predator movie in Korea. Like a period piece. Like back then. Like a period piece. Yeah. I could see you being like a rice farmer fighting a I'm, Predator. I'm a, just a rice farmer. Not trained at all. Not trained at all. But, but I somehow, could see you. Yeah. You, you know, the sc savvy. scythes. Yeah. I'm savvy. Yeah. That you, you, you're in your fucking little hut and you make a weapon yeah. out of the scythe. And then you make, you know, you, that little rice paddy hat yeah. that you have, right? You put, like, fucking, like, metal, like, nails on it, and you throw it. Yeah. Turn it into a weapon. Yeah. I could see that. Because the rest of the, the rest of the army. Yeah, they're going to hire this, this guy first. This is Rain. That's Rain. They're going to hire Rain You first. know Rain, right? Yeah. yeah. Look at that. But, the, look, yeah. look, take okay. your shirt off. Okay, no. But this Take was, your shirt okay, off. Let's first, compare. Okay. Can I just say one? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to compare. I want to well, see. I'm, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've seen your body. <laughs> yeah. But, okay. Let me say this. Yeah. I will say that was pre Crazy Rich Asians explosion. Uh huh. It, which means you have to go above and beyond. Like there's a few selected, and they're going by the stereotype of you know the Asian. Now they want every type. They want the rice farmer. Yeah. Fighting off predator. I know they do, but like if it's, I understand that, but I also understand that all the guys that are around. Yeah. Right. So I have a list of guys. Right. We that are my like, type. Yeah. Randall Park, you know what I mean? Jimmy O. Yang is beating me out of every role now, right? right? There's all these guys, right? And I have to say to myself, you know, what are the odds of me? And I just say no. Yeah. You know? And yeah. I'm a pretty liked guy. If so you don't want to at least, you know, try. If it happens, I'll do it. You don't have a competitive spirit? No, I have a competitive spirit until it's getting acting work, right? But for me to be like, oh, I'm the next, you know what I mean? whatever yeah. John Arnold Schwarzenegger mm -hmm. I don't think that's gonna happen it just doesn't make any sense I I get it I never I just don't <sighs> count it out all right I don't count it out right you know and can I say something about, now it's a uh, bet I, so I, I'm even all right more can I just say this about it, yeah. Netflix I, I and I, I would bet my life on it yeah they didn't laugh in the room when you said action star they didn't yeah but did you put a li little microphone in there after you left <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, so it could say- have been it could have been a romp fest. There were two women in the room. Yeah, it, they you could just- have like got on their <laughs> knees. You know, me holding their side. Ah! I mean, just so you think I walked out the door yeah. and one looked at the other and was like, "Yikes!" Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> I've done that too. Where I like, I've, even yesterday when we were shooting, Jay Moore did something really funny, right. but I held it in. Yeah, and no one could tell. And then when they said cut, I laughed. Yeah. Right? That's that could have happened. Okay. All right. True. I don't want to hurt your feelings. No, no, you're not yeah, hurting yeah, my feelings. Yeah. You never know, though. You are, yeah, fucking, yeah. fucking on my dreams in, in a little way. I'm not. I, 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 I'll tell you why I'm I not. I don't count it out, though. I'll tell oh. you why I'm not fucking up your dream. Yeah. Because, number one, I've gotten to know you, mm-hmm. and um, I'm blessed to know you. I'm blessed to know you, honestly. Okay, I am. I'm blessed to know you. Yeah. Um, I feel like, I, think, I don't think before, but I can say this now, that I could see us being friends for the rest of our lives. Yeah, 100%. All right? And I don't hang out with people that aren't talented. I don't, like, I don't like everyone I kind of call and hang out with are people that I deem as people that have a skill set equal yeah. or even more, or they have skill sets that I don't even have. You know what I mean? Mm. It, they're just got to be, you know, I, I just can't, you know, I, maybe I'm shallow in that way. I just have always been like that. I'm a little like that too. I like people that inspire me or inspire motivate me. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Like your friend in New York, yeah. that Jenny girl, mm-hmm. right? At first you were like, this girl Jenny, and she looked, seemed a little wild. But I watched some of her Instagram. And I you go, "This girl film. is fucking. Funny. She is funny. Funny. Yeah, she's funny. She's also there's something like really <laughs> weird and I know different exactly about her. Right? What you're talking about. So it's yeah. like you know that's why I said give her my number. When I'm in New York, she yeah, come yeah, to my yeah, show, yeah. Or whatever. Right. Yeah. So th- there has to be something where I'm kind of going. There's something about this person that's yeah. like wild and and something that's interesting and something not basic. Right. So you're not basic. Yeah. You're, you know what I mean, I think that you're a talented guy. Um, I think that. You have a really bright future ahead of you, yeah. and you're never going to be an action star. Yeah, but you know, you know, you know what's <laughs> I mean, funny? Like while that conversation was happening, yeah, you know, what was going through my mind. Hmm. I was like half listening, but the other half, yeah, I was literally thinking about martial arts classes I could sign up for. I was straight up thinking about that because that's how determined I am. I am that determined. Do you? If I learn that skill set, it'll give me a twenty five percent boost. And the possibility of me being an action star. Mm. Because you do believe that. That with a lot of Asian stars, they're going to look for that skill set. (laughs) What? Why not? You're like completely against this idea. What? Now you're starting to hurt me just with your eyes. Not even saying one word, actually. No, I'm trying to hold in a laugh. (laughs) (laughs) I'm trying to hold in a laugh, dude. Bro. What was your... Can I just say something? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. When did Jackie Chan learn to do martial arts? Can you Google that, please? Jet Li, name me all of them. Like the age. At, at age and when they started training. Okay. Okay. How old are you? I'm going to be action star with guns. No, no. <laughs> no with you guns. said martial arts. Okay, okay. How old are you? I'm 36. Okay. So did you, any information? Yes. Okay. What? Age seven. Jackie Chan yeah. started doing martial arts. At seven. <laughs> yes, I know that. Not sounds- 37. Okay, yeah. Seven. Okay. Right? No. How about gun training? Guns. Yeah, can I say something? Yeah. When I was in Pineapple Express, yeah. I had one line in it, okay. right? I had to do two weeks of gun training. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you can do gun training. Yeah. You're not going to. What, what does that mean? In any action movie that you do, even as a peon, right? Even uh, Keanu Reeves. He didn't start doing martial arts training since he was young. Keanu Reeves, right? Yeah. Was a legend as a kid. I know, but I'm building that part up. The actions part is going to be the last, you know, applying yeah, all but that, those, everything but these that I've kids, worked on. These, the, all these Kevin Bacon, Keanu Reeves, all these guys have been Tom Cruise. They were working when they were teenagers. Yeah. And they were household names. It's a different world now. Okay. Everyone's competing against each other. How about the nobody? Mr. No, um, Bob Oben, Obenkirk? That's it's still that's the, a, that's a, they're still different. He's a legend. Yeah, I know. But Way I'm before bu- that. But I'm building up did you the legend. Okay. When, of- was, when was Mr. Show on? <laughs> Google that. Yes, I know. No, Mr. no, no just Show. Google when Mr. Show first aired. 1995. <laughs> He was on an HBO show. Is there somebody I could bring up? <laughs> I know, yo, you, if you find me one example, right? 1995. Dude, I knew that guy back then, right? Okay. He was also in fucking the Larry Sanders show. 
The guy was a fucking legend. Okay. And that he would have never gotten that if he wasn't on Breaking Bad. I'm dropping it. I'm dropping it. All right. I, I'm dropping. I feel like a no, dick. No, no, you're I not feel a like dick. an asshole. You're not a dick because to, if I'm going to be an action star, I can't be hurt by these kind of things. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I can't be yeah. hurt by these kind of things. I, I think that's what I'm doing right now. I, I yeah. want you to do it. Yeah, yeah. And I, I'm pushing you to a point. <laughs> I don't want you to give up. I'm pushing you to a point. This, you're my trainer. You're my martial yeah, yeah. arts this trainer. This is a psychological training okay. game, right? Okay. I want you to get so angry yeah. at me right now that I want you to quit everything okay. and go out I will. to a temple, I'm right? And sell this condo, beautiful place, right? Quit hip hop yeah. and go to a temple in East Asia on a now. mountain and just start fucking martial arts. Break boards, bury yourself alive, break through the thing, yeah. right? And do all the things necessary, and I'll see you in ten years. Okay, right? I, I, because that's what it's, what it's going to take. And you know what? Usually, it's someone like this that flips that switch on these action stars. Yeah, that makes them go to the temple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm probably worse. Like they kill their family. You're not going go to go. Like here's that. the thing: you're not going to go to a temple. I, I, I mean, I'm going to go through my own training process. I will. Can I say this though? Yeah. If I had my ten people that I needed in my zombie apocalypse crew yeah you'd be a part of my crew okay right but not for the fighting <laughs> what i'm gonna be the strategy hack strategy hacker and i feel like you can do boards good <laughs> like you'd be fast at boards <laughs> the wood board <laughs> in the house yeah, 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 to yeah, keep yeah. the zombies away like you would know like what furniture to break apart right and to do the thing like, i think you do that fast. like i'm a contractor and you're like yeah yeah <laughs> come on join this crew wake up jonathan board time they're coming you know what i mean you do be fast at it Okay, all right. I'm gonna drop it. Uh, no, I, I also years, no. I also thing. think that this too yeah. is that you're like in you know because in the zombie like we'd have a fort or a compound, right? So we'd have fencing and all that stuff. I feel like that you're the type of guy that's gonna be able to sneak away, go to the grocery store, yeah, and come back with food. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, it, look, let me ask you this: Was there any dream of yours that re the reality check kicked in and you just dropped it? You know what I mean? Like, you're like, okay, this doesn't make any sense anymore. Well, I'll just be serious for a second. Yeah. Um, they always say to dream big. They do. Okay. And I've always dreamed big, but I used to have this man. There was this Korean man I knew um, back in the late 80s. All right. Um, I met him in rehab. Mm -hmm. Went to my first rehab. I, it was 1988. Okay. And he always goes... He, he has an accent. Yeah. He, oh, he's dream big, he said. And I go, okay. And he goes, but don't be too specific. And I go, why? Oh. And he, he goes, because life, you know what I mean? Life is exciting and there's mystery. And you might get stuff that you never even thought mm. that you'd ever even be able to get. Right? So, like, I've never been that specific about it. I just kind of know that I want to do comedy. I want to act. And, um... I want a podcast, but that's pretty much. They're very surfacey. So he's saying, leave room. Leave room for God to do His thing. Yeah, the universe the, to yeah, play out the way. It yeah, does. yeah, because it's more exciting that way. You know, like right now, I'm like, um, like I don't know who I'll meet. You know what I mean? I might. I don't know, but there's that there's a mystery to all that. Yeah. In terms of like, am I going to get married? Am I going to have kids? Mm -hmm. I don't know. What's going to happen tomorrow? But if I'm too specific, like, I want to marry this specific girl. You right. know what I mean? I just think that I would be robbing myself. I will say you are not leaving so much room in the dating situation right now. You, Why? Because I say no to fat you're, girls? You're, you're doing a little. You're, <laughs> no, no. You're doing too much. You're going into the system of searching. You know, like you're going into dating. No, I'm, I'm, no, like, I'm only doing it because I'll, I'll tell you why. I, I'm not, I have no seriousness when it comes to that. Right. I'm just curious. You're because curious. I never did anything like that in the 10 years. You know, I never looked at another girl. Yeah. Really, I've never, I, mean, I was very like kind of loyal to her. You know what I mean? There's and no flirtatiousness. I never did any of that. I never hung out with girls really. No, I never did any I'm of that. I'm surprised about that because as an entertainer, flirtatiousness is a big characteristic because you're in, you like to entertain. I like to entertain girls, you know, like make them laugh or whatever. Even if I'm in a, rela a relationship, you know. And maybe, no. that, maybe that's disrespectful and maybe I, I have been disrespectful. Because you're opening doors then and I didn't want to ever open the doors even as a fantasy. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I just n would never really even talk to girls. It's so funny because not that I'm attracted to anybody, but 
in the last three months, I've been like helping female comics out more. Right. Like doing their podcast. Not because I'm attracted to them or I want to have sex with them or anything like that. Yeah. It's just that I'm kind of opening my doors back up to just women in general, right, to help. I've helped a bunch of guys too. That's not my yeah, point. Yeah, my yeah. point is is that um yeah, I, I really just kinda of close myself off to all that. That's why I'm just kinda of learning and opening and um it's just it's like sort of being in a different country and then coming back to America and going, Well, what's changed and I mean let me figure out you know, I mean, what's really going on or whatever. I can say I've never, I've always left that part relationships as like open. I don't have a little thing. I'm not looking for anything ever. And then it's better that th way. Then you'll end up with like David Spade. Like what? How? Oh, I love David Spade, by the way. I don't yeah, know yeah, yeah. his name, but um, not David Spade, Pauly Shore. Any well, you of think them. it's like a lonely life or something or what? Like. Why? Sometimes universe lands you a good woman. No, but and you end but up you, in a relationship with her for five years. But you remind me of years. my friend Gene. Like I know guys like you. Why? Right? You guys are um, forever bachelors. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, There's I've been no in, way. I've been in Don't relationships. Lie. I've been in relationships. How long? What's the longest relationship we've been in? Two years, probably. Because do you know why? What? Two year, at past two years is the real marker. Really? Two yeah, years? that's when things get hard. Right. And, yeah. And you have to... You, you, and and, and you, the, ne the next six years after that, right... Is the real difficult parts mm. maintaining the intimacy, checking in, right, um, connecting, living in the moment, you know what I mean, and getting to know the person, and also like being able to like persevere over, you know, problems that occur, you know what I mean, life events that happen, right, right. You haven't done any of that. Hmm. I think you're a forever bachelor, and that's not a bad thing. And I know that you're an argumentative guy. <laughs> right, I, I know your wheels are turning right now, and you want to defend yourself, but the proof is in the pudding. Uh, uh, the proof is in the pudding. I just don't get why. Because if it, you going past the two year mark is a sign of somebody who's had, who's figured it out more than I have in about relationships. <laughs> <laughs> because I persevered through, you know, my girlfriend being sick. Okay. For years. This is right. Yeah. Uh, we lived together for 10 years almost. Right. Right. Um, we share animals. Mm. We've traveled the world together. True. And um, I, I've, we've been through some really hard things. Right. Yeah. That's how I know. I will. I will agree. Awa, awa. I, I will. <laughs> <laughs> awa, awa. Awa, awa. <laughs> Sounds like Creed asking for food. Yeah. Awa, awa. Yeah. Um, no. Uh, my last relationship, uh, I had an ex-girlfriend who broke her ankle, yeah. and I had to take care of her for three months I understand. to four I know months that. I know that story. Straight. Yeah. And it was like the mo biggest test I've ever had. And you're no longer with that person. Towards the end, it did start testing me a little bit. And that's why and, and you got and there out. There was a little bit of an impatience. You got out. Uh, uh, not just me getting out, but she kind of saw the person I was. A little bit a bachelor. in that situation. A bachelor. Or selfish. Yeah. That's the word maybe. You know what was the moment that happened? So the third, like she was like two weeks till fully healed. I was helping, I was with the groceries. Yeah. Helping, helping her out. She was holding some groceries. Yeah. And then I dropped my groceries and peaches are fucking rolling on the floor. And I gave out one of these and she saw me. She's never going to work. She saw me. Never going to work. The one thing that I was so pissed about, though, it's like, three months, I, I, I didn't shed one moment of sigh or nothing. I was with it. I was helping out. Yeah, yeah. Just one sigh. And she was just like, she noticed, she saw that. And then, uh, 12 hours later, she was like, she was packing her bags. Like, I'm going to like, I'm going to go back to my place, for, you know, for the remainder of the thing. I don't want to bug you. And she, I just, what'd you say? I, I was like, no, no, no. And she, but she saw the sigh. Did she leave? And she left. Yeah. You shouldn't have and, let her leave. It, I tried to stop her, and I was like, "No, I'm not." But I'm How not. How hard did you try? I I, I tried hard, okay. you know, and I was like, okay. "I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry." Like blah blah. blah. No, she's like, "No, no, I can tell. I'm in your way." Blah blah blah. It was that one. <sighs> I'm gonna say something that's gonna bother you. Yeah. I'm gonna say something right now to you that's gonna really bother you, and you're gonna argue against it and this and that. Yeah. Okay. Look at me in the eyes. I'm looking at you. Okay. I I don't know who you're talking about. This person. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. But this person, we had dinner the other night. Us three. Okay. Right? She really is perfect for you. 
Or the, the, don't stop pointing stop, places. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. She really is perfect for you. <laughs> okay. She has all. She checks all the marks. Right. Right. You're not going to get better than that. Uh, you're not. Mm. Right. And what I'm saying to you is, is that that's why now. I didn't know before, but I th during that dinner, I went, yeah, this is weird. So that's okay. No, first you, of no, all, don't argue. It's fine. Shouldn't you, shouldn't you believe that you will get better? Things will get better. You hear that all the time. <laughs> coming out of a <laughs> coming out of a shitty situation. <laughs> what are you? I'm just saying. What? I will. I can. We will. No, you can improve. Do you think you become a better person? Okay, do I'm you just think you will get better than Kalila? There is no better. Why? Different. Okay, different. Yeah. And that's your problem. What is my problem? I don't understand Yeah, you think this. that there's this like, you know what I mean? You're going to open up a curtain and there's going to be perfection. There isn't. But didn't you think at one point in your career, like, it doesn't get better than this. And your career got better. No, different. It got, it got different. It didn't get better, but it got... It, different things happened. Right? We're always looking for stuff that's like... Because here's the deal, dude. Yeah. And I, I and I know that I noticed this when I'm on because yesterday you helped me set up my Tinder. I did right. Yeah. And so you know what I mean. I noticed it during it. It's like as I'm doing it, I'm like, it doesn't matter. Like you know what I mean. It's like you um, hated the experience. Yeah, actually. I hated the experience, yeah. and it's like there's also an addictive quality to it, right? right? And you're always trying to find the the hottest thing or whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. And I realize it just doesn't exist. Yeah. It just doesn't. We're just human beings on a planet, right? And let me say something. It's like, Kalila, my girlfriend, ex-girlfriend, is the most beautiful girl I've ever been with. Yeah. And she's beautiful on the inside, too. I don't want to get, get emotional, but yeah. she's perfect. Right. She really is, and I just couldn't do it. Yeah. So I'm like you. Yeah. We're fucked. Uh, We're we gonna, are. Is there, is there nursing homes... For old people in Koreatown? They're tough. Yeah, there are. Definitely. You and I are going to be there. Alone. <laughs> and we're alone? Yeah, me, you. Who else is going to be there? No, because... Yeah, yeah. No, I... There's... Because look at look at all the other guys, like Randall Park. Yeah. Stephen Yoon. They're, mar they're married. Married know? kids. They yeah. don't have our thing. Of something... Of... There's something missing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's not too late. It's not too late. If you say so. I, I, I believe for me that I can do it. I believe I can. Yeah. Right. But, but you know that 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 term where they're like, if you love something, let it go. Do you yeah. believe that? Yeah. Do you believe that? You, you believe that, right? So that's kind of the situation with some of these ex relationships that we're in. Now you know we <laughs> let ourselves go, and you thrive even crazier. Thrive in what way? In your own lives, you know the way. You love yourself because you need now need to love yourself the way you felt like your partner loved you. And you probably felt like she loved you even more than you loved yourself. I love what you're trying to do. <laughs> it's, it's, you think it's dude, a thing. I love you think it's dude, a thing. You're such a fucking, <laughs> you know what I mean? Did you, as a kid, you just thought your way out of things. Huh? I, I talked my way out of a yeah, lot yeah, of yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's an obvious thing. Yes. yes. I'm, I'm obviously when you're alone, you're, you're sitting with yourself and you want to, in, I'm getting to my, know myself, right? But I also got to know myself in a relationship as well, you know? Mm -hmm. It's all a learning experience, but it's like, um, I just know that I, I believe that I made some mistakes on my previous m relationship and I'm going to, I feel like I have the tools and the know-how to correct those mistakes. Yeah. And do you think you have that? Um, I, I do, uh, I don't know. I have, I have, I'm pretty, I can be very cold and numb sometimes. I know. I will admit that. The way you talk to him. I, I am. I and, and I don't know. I've had problems crying. You've you know, never cried. Uh, no, you've never cried. I, I, no, I have cried when I was a child. I've I know. No, you, I know. We talked about that earlier. I remember a couple of weeks ago we talked about that. You said that you've never cried I, as an adult. I can say it's, I don't remember the last time I cried. That's that you you need help. I, I do. Yeah. You, you. <laughs> Dude, you uh, need uh, help. Uh, what kind of help? Like you a need therapy, therapy or therapy. something? Yeah, yeah, like there is something going on. That's crazy. Is it crazy? Yeah, I mean, because I cry five times a year. 
Five times a year. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. Five or six times a year. And I'll have a, where tears are coming out and I'm like weeping. Yeah. And I think it's healthy to do that. I agree. Right? I agree. I agree. But for, to say that you've never cried as an adult is fucking crazy. Mm. And also another thing is, is that I think you party too much. You think I party too much? Where did that come from? <laughs> why, why, well, because we're I talking don't about party your party too much. I don't want to say certain things, but you party too much. Uh, I mean, I think I, you do. I party. For a Thirty-seven-year-old man, you party too much. <laughs> What's wrong with being thirty-seven and partying? First of all, when did you give up your partying life? Life like what? Seventeen. Oh, really? You haven't partied hard since then? Well, I'm an addict, so um, I quit when I was seventeen for thirteen years. Yeah. Then I relapsed, did it for two years. Then I got sober for 17 years after that. Yeah. And then I went out for a couple, three months. And this last time I went out for three months. I I will say I've gradually partied throughout all my life since my teenage years till now. You know what I mean? So. I just want to let you know, I've never showed up to a job. Okay. <laughs> okay. Stop. So, don't, anyway. don't go there. Haggard. Don't go there. All right. Okay. Because I'm not you proud of like myself. You look like a zombie. I'm, look, not, I'm look, not proud of myself. You look terrible. That was one. Okay, I fucked up. You look right? fucking terrible. I fucked up. Yeah, I fucked yeah. up. This is a movie and about. And can I also say this? Yeah. Just as, since we're on it. Yeah. I've never fell asleep. Oh, my God. Stop, dude. During. Stop. Someone's scene. No, you told me. Look. This dude <laughs> fucking what the fell fuck? asleep uh, no, I, during Johnny oh Knoxville's monologue. No, the coverage I look, was not on me. It doesn't me. matter. The coverage was not on me. Oh, oh, oh boo hoo. This, okay, so you know, I, I, I want to explain to people. I'm considering no, ed editing this no, part. No, out. Don't, I don't, don't want to do this because. Don't edit this part out. I, I, don't, this is good stuff. What action casting agent looking at no, this? Gonna, no, they're not going to do that. Right. This is the good stuff, all right? So can I just explain to your people, fans Go listening? Ahead. Go what, ahead. What, so basically, coverage is this. So. Obviously, when you're watching a TV show, right? Yeah. And the camera's on somebody. Let's say the camera's on like a close up, yeah. Yeah, on 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 dumbfounded, and he's talking to another person. Right. Right. So what happens is the other person is on the other side of the fucking camera, right? Either having a dialogue right. or being present for the other actor, right? <laughs> I'm gonna Wait. I'm gonna hit you with something after this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're shitty acting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not not right? shitty acting, but uh, yeah, yeah. So, so this is what so this is what he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Johnny Knoxville's here. Camera's on him. Dumb's on the other side. <laughs> Fully asleep. Okay, okay. Right? And everyone's kind of going, even the director walked by you, pointed, and laughed. Right? And everyone's laughing at you, and I'm going, this dude. Okay, but unprofessional. You point out to actors when they're not on screen that you don't have to deliver the lines or say you said this to Theo because Theo is improving off camera when it's not on him and oh you're God. like what are you doing right now you're so dumb bro what do you mean I'm dumb even yesterday yeah right during the movie yeah right Lai says to Johnny do ten percent when you're on the other side you're right. I'm not fully acting. I, I want to finish. I, I wanna, let me finish. Okay. Don't interrupt me. Okay, I won't. All right. Go. So on your coverage, right? I'm not going to give you 100% and improvise and do all this stuff, right? Because it's about you, yeah. right? But I'm going to be present, right, for you, right? So that you can do the scene. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? At least I'm not asleep. <laughs> Okay, so that's your argument. First of all, I didn't have any lines with Johnny. It doesn't matter. John, John, he needed no, you. I, no, he, he, need, not. he needed you. <laughs> he needed you. I he needed you. You this threw him off. I could have just been right there and he could have played it off. He's yeah. a great actor. You yeah. know what I mean? In fact, let me ask you this question. Yeah, then. yeah, go ahead. Is that the first time yesterday that you fell asleep on set? It was my second time I fell asleep. Exactly. But I was not needed for that moment. I was not needed for that fucking moment. I'm awake for other people. <laughs> Okay, so give me another well, let argument. Let me just say one thing. Okay, You're uh, also a very com like complainy, you know. <laughs> okay, so here we go. You, you, you go said, ahead. Go ahead. I've never seen an actor negotiate with the director to get to write himself out of the next scene. Like you, you've told lies. Like the director, you've t you've told him like, lies for the next thing. Ugh, I got to do this thing. Can you just like you're written in already in the scene. You negotiated with him to get you out of that scene so you could go to another meeting. I've never seen that. You can do that. Is that a thing you can do? Yeah, you can do that. You, you sure? Yeah. 
You can't lie because I'm new to the industry as a whole, so you got it. You can't bullshit me. You can do that. Yeah, but it's unprofessional. It's not unprofessional. It sounds like somebody who's not invested into the project. No, I'm not. I'm 100 percent invested. Oh, because, can I say this? Yeah. When you watch the movie, let me ask you this question. Oh God, here we go. Okay, here we go. You've told, you've All right, so I'm gonna let me ask you some, yes. a question and be sincere. Yeah, I will. You've seen me do lines in the movie, right? Yeah. Do I know my lines? You do, and you're and you're funny, and you're you have a huge presence in the moments. Yeah. Exclamation point. Boop. Yeah, but here, okay. Let me let me argue that part. Exclamation. Okay, let point. me argue Boop. that. When you a movie is not just your moments. It's other I people's just, moments. I can if you just, bring I that can negative end, energy on I can the just set, end, I just can end it here, right? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm awake. Okay, so you think you're on... I'm awake, dude. You, you, you think you Some just people show are asleep. Up, you think you show up on set, you did your part, I'm good now. My hands are clean. Okay, it's I'm, a group you're really effort. Pissing, no, you're, it's you're, a group you're at, effort. Everybody brings an energy on... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what? What are you doing? I just need a second. Hold on. Okay, all right. Because there's a couple of lies that you're telling here, too. I'm I, not I lying. Say, there's a couple of lies. <laughs> I'm not lying, there's a couple of lies. I'm not lying, dude. You've slacked off, too. Yeah, I've yeah. seen you nap on set. So this Here's is the thing about this guy, Jonathan. I love this kid. I love you, way. too. I really Throw love out you. There. I love this kid, right? But you're very argumentative. I am. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I am. And not everything needs to be a winnable thing. I'm not. You don't know how to play softball. You <laughs> fell asleep on set. I did. And that's it. I did. Right? And apologize. <laughs> Apologize. You know well, apologize I mean? to you. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay, I'm not... I totally get it. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah, I yeah. mean, I think are we are we getting there? Where are we at right now? And I, okay. What? Where are we at? Oh, okay. We we did good. What is it? We did good. Fifty seven. We didn't even gone beyond that. Um. Well, how long are they? We usually do like an hour fifteen or something like that. Yeah. You got time or what? Yeah. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay. I mean, okay. Let, we... let, let, okay let's let's start off in a ba in a better note. Let's end in a better note because this is very been argumentative. Has, right, I don't right, argue. this and that. Okay. We haven't like agreed on a thing once. I think. I don't think we ever agree, even on set. We don't agree. We argue all the time. There is a lot of arguments. Yeah, yeah. yeah we argue. You kind of bug me. Like you. Like let's let's end there. Let's talk about the things that bother us us about each other. You go first. What is it that I do that bothers you? And then I think this is good for our friendship. Go ahead. Uh, there's nothing. Uh, you just said it. Well, you are. I think you're a youthful guy, right? But there are things about your attitude that, like, you're a legend to me. But you there's an attitude about you that feels non legendary. <laughs> Okay, is this already, wait, are we doing the right thing that we're supposed to be doing right now? It feels right. Does that feel right? Keep going. Okay, so what I mean by that is you're a legend to me. But, you know, sometimes there's a little bit of this, you know, doubt or, or like jadedness that comes, you know. I don't know if that's a legend thing or not, but there's an unlegendary thing. In, be <laughs> specific. Um, just the body language of, you know, mm. when I'm, you know. There's just like, you know, a meek, like a meek, weak, a weak, weak, meek. and there's times that, you know, you're Bobby Lee and then there's times that you're just like, uh, yeah, you know what that's called? What? Being a human being. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Fair. Fair. All right. Yeah. That's called being a human being. Is uh, wrong I apologize yeah. for um, feeling the range of emotions. <laughs> You know, I apologize for um, having doubt. You you know, I, I'm, 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 you I'm, I am. To, I want to apologize. You don't have to apologize. For I apologize for not always knowing the right thing to say or do. I apologize for um, being scared and living I'm in fear. I'm scared too. But sometimes I live in confidence and I have pride and confidence. Right. Okay. That's called being a human being. Here's what I want to say about you now. Yes, please. You're perfect the way God made you. That's it. That's it. Yeah, this feels like therapy for me. Honestly, yeah. uh, I have trust me. I have my fears too. I don't. I don't. Want, I'm done. Oh, you're. <laughs> I wasn't done venting. My. Oh, all, right, all, right, all right. Go ahead. I just wanted to be honest for a moment. Go ahead. I mean, not that I haven't been honest, but I, I want to at least tell you that some of these problems that I have and fears, and you know, I feel so scared sometimes, and I feel. What like, are you scared about? I I'm scared about. 
actually it kind of pertains to what you just said about me being enough i feel like i'm not enough sometimes i do compare myself to a lot of people i will say that and and i don't know where that comes from because people think i'm so confident in certain moments and i feel so sure of myself even when i argue i feel like this is what i believe but i sometimes just lead with my mouth you know and i think that's a problem i think you need help I think you need a therapy, right? I do. I do. You know, I think the, let's close it on a real note. Yeah. I think, you know, every week, like, the reason why I need to get out of here now is because I have therapy yeah. in Encino That's at five, fine. right? Um, I see a psychiatrist once a month. Mm-hmm. I go to AA meetings. I have a sponsor. I do all these things um, to feel better and to be present and to work on some of my um, issues, you know? Um, you have no outlet for that. Mm. You know, you. I don't know who you talked to about. You're not a spiritual guy, I don't think. I think I am. I think I have spiritual things that I try to do: meditate, pray. Mm. I believe in certain things. You know, you don't really have a foundation when it comes to self help mm. and and feeling good. You, you know, you you have a lot of walls up. That's why you can't cry. And I think that I I believe that. Do you have trauma? Oh, I have tons of trauma. Yeah. So tra- what trauma does is um, it lives in your body forever. It's it's like one of the main causes of like strokes and cancers, trauma, like stress. F- yeah, it, 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 it's it's all it's like these stress events locked inside your body. Yeah. And it, later it it turns into physical ailments, right? Um, there are ways to deal with trauma, EMDR, seeing a trauma therapist which is what I, what I do. I see a trauma therapist because I was beat as a kid and um, I'm fucked up. I was molested, all these things, right? So it's like, I have to see that. I have to do it. I have to do that work. In fact, six months ago, I went to a place, two places for a week, full on doing psycho uh, drama, tra- trauma therapy. Yeah. Doing 17 hours a day. and seeing 25 therapists in a week. Yeah. Right, and I spent thousands and thousands of dollars to do it because I I need to unlock it. I need to get better, and you don't do any of that. So I just suggest that you do start uh, that road. I think I'm around a lot of people who haven't unpacked their trauma, mm-hmm. and that's my crew of people who all have trauma that haven't unpacked it. And yeah, imagine what that's like in that circle. Terrible. It's like a royal rumble of just chaos. Yeah, yeah, it's terrible. We just want to destroy each other, like break, you know, bring them down. I, you know, no. I feel like I feel shitty sometimes. You have the to do I the work. People. And if you, I, if you call me, I can f- recommend a therapist for you. Yeah. A trauma therapist. I, you would tr- I would try it once a week for a month. Right? You're is, not going to do it. Is this it. an ad or what? No, you, you're not going to do it. <laughs> no, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. I'll do it. But if the, when the pain gets great enough. I went to because, a consultation once. What happened? I, I did it and she was great. I just didn't follow up. Why? You know, that was actually one of the reasons I broke uh, uh, my ex broke up with me. Because of that? Because she, she, we talked about it for so long and she was like, you know, just do it, please, blah, blah, blah. And a year passed, never went. And then she was like, what happened? And then when it was too late, I was like, no, 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 I'll go. And then it was just, it was too late. You got to do the work because, you know, a trauma and all that stuff, it, it affects intimacy. Yeah. Yeah. And um, and the little I know about you, and I, I'm not a therapist or a doctor, so I can't really um, diagnose you with anything, right? But there is things that are wrong. Mm. You know, <laughs> there are. You know what I mean? There are things I go, no, because the reason why I know that is because you remind me of me in some of your behaviors and the way you talk to people and the way you mm. are. And I look at you and I go, oh, that's very similar. I'm, I understand what that is, you like know? pre-therapy? Pre-therapy, yeah. yeah. Or, yeah, and so it's like, but, you know, I have to do the work. And it's, what happens is you're 30, I was fine at 36, 37. Mm-hmm. It's when 47, 48 is when that shit comes to the surface and mm-hmm. it's painful. Yeah. It's fucking terrible. It, yeah. if you, your neck hurts, you know what I mean? Your sides hurt. Yeah. You know what I mean, you can't get out of bed. The depressions are so deep, you know? So it's like, I don't know, man. I would start now, but let I me feel, know. I feel or I'm going to go. All right, okay. Like, Peace out, man. All right, guys. <laughs>